Attention all of my subscribers. If you want free lessons, I'm going to start offering those to my subscribers. So please contact me at axel.toss at hotmail.com. If you're interested in, in that email, please include your battle.net name, your character code, and also include your YouTube name uh, in which you are subscribed to me. And also please include what rank you are. So thank you so much. Let's go ahead and jump into this game. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another StarCraft 2 1 vs 1 replay casted by myself. My name of course is Axel and I'm super excited to bring you some more MLG Columbus 2011 action. That's right, a tournament where some of the best players in the world came to compete against each other for a really huge grand prize. And in this game we have some pool play action between the Red Protoss OG SMC flying down all the way from Korea to play in this tournament. He kind of lucked out, I guess, because Startail Bomber was unable to make his flight. So OGSMC, with very little preparation, hopped on a plane and flew over to the United States of America to participate in this tournament. Of course, regarded as one of the best Protoss players in the world, if not the best Protoss player in the world. So definitely looking forward to see a great game from him. And on the other side of the map, we have the Blue Terran player, Dignitas Select, an incredible player in his own right, came into the tournament being regarded as probably one of the best Terrans, if not in North America, but also the world. So definitely a matchup of the Titans on day one of MLG Columbus 2011 in pool play. And just a reminder, this will be a best of three. So if one of these players loses this game, it's not a huge deal. They will be able to play another one to try to tie up the series and then play a third game to hopefully hopefully take back the win. Now, we have Dignitas Select putting down an early wall with a Supply Depot, Barracks, and Supply Depot. A lot of Terrans like to do this just to deny that scouting. They do not want their opponent to know exactly what they're doing. But, you have to be careful when you're doing this Terran players at home because if the Protoss player decides to do some sort of Void Ray play, they can target down that Supply Depot and charge up their Void Rays really easily and no one likes charged Void Rays unless they are yours, of course. But anyway, Select finishing off his wall does not want any scouting to go down uh, by OGSMC. And something I'm intrigued to see is whether or not these players will do any sort of fast expansion as there is this ramp. Uh, outside the natural which is relatively easy to defend uh, compared to say like Zalnaga or Metalopolis. We do have a marine pro battle here and the marine does take that out so plus a one for a Dignitas Select in this game but yeah as I was saying very easy to defend this natural so you'll see a lot of players do some sort of fast expand build and on the other side of the map we see OGSMC taking both gases and the Dignitas Select is scouting him out, so OGSMC won't be putting down any sort of tech or anything until he gets that Stalker out uh, to get rid of that SCV. Of course, he does not want Dignitas Select scouting exactly what he's doing, so he will probably get rid of that SCV before throwing down any sort of additional gateways, Robo, or Nexus. So we'll have to keep an eye on that as this game goes along. Back in Dignitas Select's base, he did decide too fast expand so definitely feels safe enough defending this expansion defending this small ramp to be able to safely put down that command center on the other side of the map it looks like OGSMC may have similar tactics in mind yes right when he gets 400 middles does decide to put down this nexus so both of these players not wanting to do any sort of one base play both getting their initial expansions down relatively soon it looks like OGSMC has his warp gate on the way that is at about 50% Right now, we're going to be looking for any additional gateways he decides to put down right now would about be the time to put those down because you want to put your gateways down when the warp gate technology is about 40%. That way, when your warp gate technology finishes, your gateways will be finished. Like, they'll, they'll finish at the exact same time. So right when that happens, you can, turn your, you can turn your gateways into warp gates and warp in units immediately. So definitely interested to see which way OGSMC goes with his build, it looks like. Digging Sauce Select getting his two gases along with a factory. So definitely intrigued to see what he's going to do. Perhaps it's going to be some uh, heavy racks play or mech. It's really hard to tell right now. Nothing he's doing is really uh, implying one or the other, but is putting down two bunkers. Does not want to be caught off guard by any push from the Korean player OGSMC. It looks like he is putting a tech lab on his factory so perhaps looking to get in some into some sort of mech play he should be throwing down some initial production structures in the near future but 
back in OG SMC's base. Look, it looks like he's chrono boosting that Nexus, trying to get those probes out as fast as possible. Only has two sentries out on the field and one stalker. Let me look at the units tab real quick. Yeah, just one stalker in two sentries. Really intriguing play from OG SMC, really trying to focus on getting that probe count up before starting up that uh, unit production. And he is ahead in Harvesters, 31 to 28 chrono boost, definitely showing how valuable it is making two more sentries to join the existing two has three gateways up and a robotics facility on the way so perhaps we'll go for some colossus play later on in this game or perhaps a warp prison that would be cool to see but we do see him putting down two additional gases so definitely lending uh, us to think that perhaps he will go for some sort of tech play in the near future whether that would involve throwing down a twilight council or a robotics bay remains to be seen it looks like he is putting down a forge always a good idea about the seven minute mark to put down that forge so you can get those upgrades up and running as soon as possible but Dingta Select, let's see what he's doing. Getting a take, and yes, he looks like he's going for that mech play. It looks like a Banshee coming out. Really unique play from Dingta Select. I do not see a lot of Terran players do this, but I gotta say, I like it. And it looks like he's rallying it over here, so perhaps he's gonna loop around to the back of OGSMCs and try to do some mid-game timing aggression with that Banshee. And OGSMC just pumping out the observers right now. I really love this play. Map vision is so important in every single matchup, but especially PVT. As the game gets later, that uh, the army, your army composition and your army location, where your army is in relative to your opponents is extremely important. And of course, those observers help you determine where your opponent is. It looks like OGSMC spots this Banshee immediately so he saw that being made out of the tech lab no cloak was done so he shouldn't feel threatened at all by this Banshee I would expect him to put some units at his mineral line and as I say that there we go he does have th three stalkers behind his main mineral line and just putting down a cannon so OGSMC really on top of his play right now some really good scouting from him and on the other side of the map in the blue Terran Dingo Toss Select Base we do have two additional barracks going down so perhaps transitioning out of that mech play, electing only to get three tanks, it looks like. Not producing any more from that factory and throwing down four more barracks and the starport on that reactor. So I would expect to see some medevacs in the near future. Really intriguing um, unit composition from Dignitas Select. But look at this. He is down in supply, 84 to 75. Not sure about the reason of that. Perhaps slipping in his macro just a little bit and you cannot do that against the korean ogsmc it looks like he's going to try to take out some sentries here if he can get one that would be actually a pretty huge deal does target one down um and there it does go down so digging toss select does get one sentry ogsmc will warp in three stalkers to try to deal with that and it looks like ogsmc is deciding to take his third expansion feel safe in the relative near future of this game and is a robotics bay going yeah no i don't see any robotics bay anywhere so perhaps no colossus in the near future of this game actually getting a dark shrine and i really do like this play just helps you get that mag control and sometimes you can catch your opponent off guard and sometimes some Protoss players will get a warp prism and there is a darkened spot in Select's base so theoretically OGSMC could bring a warp prism over here and warp in some DTs on the high ground and send them straight towards Select's expansion. But in Select's base we have a lot of stuff going on in the production tab. It looks like we do have an engagement over here. Some stalkers blinking up getting high ground vision from that observer catching Dignitas Select a little bit off guard, but Select with some fancy tank micro there, picking up the weakened tank uh, so the Stalkers cannot kill it, and, and OGSMC just backing away just like that, so definitely using Blink to his advantage, doing some harassment with that. I really love that play from OGSMC. Always a good idea to try to do as much harassment to your opponent as you can. And as I say that, the Dark Shrine is almost done, so perhaps we will see some dark templar action in the mineral lines of dignitas select providing even more harassment for him to deal with looks like ogsmc does have control of this watchtower watchtower so has a good idea of what is going on with his opponent here we go coming forward with some more stalkers picking off one marine and another marine, another marine before retreating back to that watchtower and coming forward around this natural expansion, actually this third, and he may decide to blink up once again. And there we go, blinking up, targeting down that reactor and trying to force Dignitas Select to spread out his units even more. Dignitas Select brings some medevacs over here, but there's no units in them, so not sure if that was a mistake. These stalkers are just going to town on these uh, supply depots. They've already killed a reactor. Always a good 
always a good add-on to target because reactor takes so long to make and just like that OGSMC blinks out of there some so some really good harassment from OGSMC looks like Dunsa select throwing some ghosts into his unit composition and on the other side of the map OGSMC getting that third saturated a decent amount in front of his opponent but the harvest account is the same and if I'm looking at the income tab uh, about the same so not too huge of a deal there and also the supply counts are the same as well and here is that warp prism i was talking about before we'll see if it decides to warp in some dark templars let's keep an eye on this is he going to go into phase mode there we go three dark templars are going to be warped in so definitely going to try to do a lot of damage with those sending them immediately to the mineral line of things i select using one to snipe try to snipe a supply depot but going straight to the mineral line and actually getting a lot of kills we do have one approaching the natural but getting blocked off by those marines and marauders it looks like these dark templars are getting so many kills as a matter of fact five and six so far so definitely paying for themselves thus far pursuing this bio army across the map where did that other dark templar go it looks like it was eliminated but these two are still going to work. One did get eliminated, and this Dark Templar is going to try to poke down that Supply Depot before it gets killed, and he should honestly try to target down some SCVs, but that's okay. He has done plenty of damage to his Terran opponent. D didn't Toss Select actually whiffing with an EMP there and forced to use a scan, so a little bit of a misplay there. And that looks like a good stopping point for now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to pause this game and... I'm doing this because I can only make 15 minute long game uh, videos and we're approaching that point. So definitely tune into the next one. There will be a link at the bottom of the screen. So go ahead and click that and join me in the next part of this game one between OGSMC and Dignitas Select.